The opening of the Dubai International Airport's 3.3 billion concourse day later this month will herald a new era in passenger travel in the Emirate. The new concourse, part of Dubai Airport's Terminal 1, will further increase yearly capacity at the world's busiest airport from 75 million to 90 million passengers. The new concourse, the last major project of Dubai Airport's 28.62 billion strategic plan 2020 expansion, was revealed to Gulf News in an exclusive preview on Monday. All non Emirates flights from more than 70 international airlines currently operating from Terminal 1's Concourse C will operate from Concourse D when it opens on February 24. Emirates will progressively take over Concourse C, which will also be refurbished. Passengers will take an overground driverless train to the new Concourse. The process will be similar to how passengers move between Emirates Concourse A and B at Terminal 3. On the train, passengers get spectacular views of the runway and taxiing aircraft. Concourse D is different from the existing layout of the airport's facilities, featuring open check-in areas that would give passengers more time to roam around the airport. The 65,000 square meter space is bright and airy, with light streaming into the central atrium from a glass ceiling, while the decor is modern but unobtrusive, in shades of light wood with touches of yellow and Dubai Airport's signature sky blue. Aiming to improve passenger experience, Dubai Airport has also reduced the distance from the entrance to the gate by building the concourse around a central atrium, so restaurants, duty-free and gates are within shorter walking distance, a departure from the linear layout of the airport's other concourses. The concourse has seating for 8,000 passengers, while the 21 gates providing direct access to aircraft are gathered just beyond. There are 11 gates on the floor below that connect passengers to the aircraft by bus. The concourse has five airline lounges, business, first class, al majlis, a large marhaba lounge that is open to paying customers and a web shopping feature where passengers can buy duty-free items online and collect them in the concourse. Irish Eden Beliaza for Gulf News.